Hey guys, it's Emily. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own stickers. Now let's get on with the video. The first way I'm going to show you how to make your stickers is by making them out of tape. You want to start out by drawing out whatever you would like onto printer paper of a pencil, or you can just print it out instead. You don't want to make them too big, and you also don't want to add too many details because it can be hard to cut around. I drew a simple plant in a cup. After you're done drawing, you want to outline it with a pen. And when the ink is dry, you can erase any pencil markings and color them in. I used markers to color them in. When you're done coloring it in, you want to cut it out. After you're done cutting it out, you want to lay out a piece of parchment paper. Now, to create your sticker, you can either use duct tape or scotch tape. I'll show you how to make the stickers with duct tape first. You want to lay down a piece of duct tape onto a piece of parchment paper. Then you want to lay down your picture. And then you want to place another piece of duct tape over it. And you slowly want to place it over the image to avoid bubbles. When you're done putting the tape over your picture, you want to take the sticker off of the parchment paper. Then you want to cut a border around the picture. And the border is what will help the sticker stick to what you want it to be on. After you're done cutting it out, you can place it back on the parchment paper and you can keep it there until you're ready to use it. If you decided to use scotch tape instead of duct tape, you're going to want to lay out two or more pieces of tape onto a piece of parchment paper. And you want to layer the long sides of the tape together so you can create a larger piece of tape. For example, I used four pieces of tape so it became large enough for my plant. I also added one piece of tape going the other direction so maybe it will stay together because of the plant being so big. And in total, I used five pieces of tape for the plant. When you're done laying the tape down, you want to lay your picture down on top of the tape. Then you want to lay as many pieces of tape you need over the image. And make sure you do this carefully and slowly so you don't make any bubbles. I put about five pieces of tape over it. The tape did fall on the image, but it did come out okay in the end. When you're done putting the tape on the picture, you want to take off the tape and cut a border around it. And the border is what will help the sticker stick to what you want it to be on. After you're done cutting it out, you can place it back on the parchment paper and you can use it when you're ready. If you printed out something, you can create the stickers the same way, by cutting it out of the paper. Then you can place whatever tape you would like to use on the parchment paper. I printed the words adventure and dream. To finish it, all you have to do is cut a border around the picture. You can also do the same thing with watercolor paintings. The first thing you want to do is that you want to cut out a piece of watercolor paper. Then you want to draw out your image. And when you're done drawing it out, you want to tame it down. After you're done taping the paper down, you want to paint it in.
when the paint is dry, you want to take the tape off, and if you want, you can outline it with a pen. After you're done outlining it, you want to cut it out, and if you want, you can cut a border around it. To make it a sticker, you want to place a piece of tape on a piece of parchment paper, and then you can place your painting on the tape. I use duct tape for this planet sticker. After you place the painting on the tape, you want to place another piece of tape on top. Then you can take it off of the parchment paper and cut a border around it. And the border is what will help the sticker stick to what you want it to be on. When you're done cutting it out, you can place it back on the parchment paper until you're ready to use it. Another way you can make stickers is by making them out of sticker paper. You want to start out by drawing out whatever you would like onto the sticker paper and pencil first. I drew a flower. Then you want to trace it with a pen and color it in or you can just print whatever you would like instead. After drawing it out, you want to cut it out, and if you want to, you can cut a border around your image. When you're done cutting it out, you're all done! If you print something, all you have to do is cut it out. I printed the word amazing. You can also make the watercolor stickers out of sticker paper. The first thing you want to do is that you want to cut out a piece of watercolor paper. Then you want to draw out your image. And when you're done drawing it out, you want to tame it down. After you're done taping the paper down, you want to paint it in and wait for it to dry. When it's dry, you can take off the tape. Then you can scan the image into your computer and edit if you need to. Then you can print it out on a test piece of paper first. And if you like how it looks, you can print the image as many times as you want onto sticker paper. Since my printer isn't good, I did outline my planet stickers with a pen before cutting it out. And if you want, you can do this too. After you're done printing out your image or outlining your image, you can cut it out and if you want, you can cut a border around it. Then you're all done and you can keep the original so you can scan more later or you can just turn it into a sticker by taping it. And that's how you make your own stickers. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, subscribe to see more videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!